Hey, it's Clary, and today I'll be showing you how to have plugins and mods installed at the same time on your server. First, it's essential to understand that using mods and plugins together can lead to instability, and there's no assurance that they will function correctly and consistently. If you're looking for basic server functions that are usually found in plugins such as slash TPA, trunk claiming, etc., there's a mod alternative you can use called FTB Utilities that includes this. I'll leave a link to that mod in the description. However, if you're still wanting to install plugins on your Forge server, you'll need to install a custom jar such as ArcLight, SpongeForge, or More Heast. Since ArcLight supports up to version 1.21 at the moment and is the one that is most updated, We'll be using that. So to download this jar, head to the link which we'll leave in the description, then click on releases. Here you can scroll down and choose the version in the mod loader. For example, I have my forged server on 1.20.4, so I'll be pressing on that jar to download. Once that's downloaded, head to server.pro and into your service. Head into the configuration tab and set the type to custom jar. Once that's done, make sure your server is stopped and then you go into the file section. There's where you want to drag the custom ArcLight jar we just downloaded. Now, we're also going to rename it to server.jar so the server actually recognizes it. This is crucial, so make sure you've done this. Once that's done, start up the server for the changes to take effect. You'll see that everything has been done correctly if after a while you see done on the console. As you can see in my mod section, I already have some Forge mods installed. However, I also want to go ahead and download Core Protect, so I'll be downloading it here. Once you've downloaded some plugins you'd like, all you have to do is head to Files and then there you will see a Plugins folder that had just been generated. Ensure you always put Plugin files in the Plugins folder and that you put Mod files in the Mods folder so the server can load them correctly. Now in the Plugins folder, I'll be dragging in my Plugin file. Once that's done, restart the server for the changes to take effect. Once the server started up, we can go ahead and test if everything is working correctly. To join the server, copy the hostname. Then open up Minecraft and enter the server address in the appropriate fields and connect. Please ensure that before launching Minecraft, you also have the mods that you installed on the server installed in your computer's mod folder as well. Otherwise, you won't be able to enter the server. If you're in the server though, all you have to do then is ensure you're an operator and try to use some commands from the plugins you downloaded. As you can see, my core protect commands work, so it means we follow the steps correctly. I hope I was able to assist you in setting up your server. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment down below or contact our support. Bye guys!